Hello everyone, Tiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in and welcome back to another soap making video. Today's soap is inspired by Brambleberry. They've been doing that a lot. They've been sending me lots of collections and giving me lots of inspiration. The latest one is their 20th anniversary collection. They have sent me a heart collar mold, they sent me color blocks, and they sent out a a brand new fragrance that Anne-Marie, the founder and CEO of Brambleberry, has handpicked herself to represent her company. It smells divine and I just can't wait to use it. So I've also been thinking of a way to use all of these things in my soap making. I want to use every aspect of that collection. I even got my little Brambleberry apron on. It has pockets, you guys. It's my favorite. So yeah, heart mold, color blocks, fragrance, I want to use it all. I I'm just going to be wearing my apron all the time now. I've been seeing a lot of soap makers do what's called brush embroidery, also known as like painted lace soaps. Soap Challenge did a challenge with um, this method and I'm, so therefore I've been seeing a lot of soap makers do it and I want to attempt it. I knew it had to be something special for this soap and for this fragrance so I'm going to be trying this method. It's basically like painting soap on soap so we'll see if I can pull it off. Um, yeah. There's also a shop update today, so be sure to head over there. We've got like the maple pecan, this one, and I don't know, there's lots of them in there. I'll have to put a, Bradley will have to put a little picture up <laughs> so that you guys can see everything. Apple pie, um, lots of Brumberry fragrances being used in this release, so go check them out. But let's get started and let's make this Brambleberry soap. started I just want to show you the setup for this column mold. I have propped it up inside of a bucket and I've used some hair ties to keep it shut and then there's like a little measuring cup in there. There's probably a million ways of achieving this but this is what I came up with as long as it doesn't tip over and it doesn't like move around. We want this to stay like straight up and down so that nothing oozes out. Every time I use a column mold, no matter how many times I press the sides together and like try and reinforce it, I always have to say a little prayer and cross my fingers and that nothing like splooges out the side because it always happens and it always makes a mess. So I'm a little, I haven't used this mold yet before, first time using it, so I have no idea what's going to happen. And I'm a little nervous because when I'm looking in there, it doesn't look like it's sealed all the way, but I'm going to hope that this is going to work. Um, yeah, I also have some cupcake molds off to the side because this holds 30 ounces and I've made a little bit of an extra batter so that I can do some cupcakes on the side with this. I thought berry cupcakes would be very pretty too. So let's get started and mix together our oils. So mixing my lye solution into my oils, I have also added in some titanium dioxide into my lye water here, just to tone down the colors that I'm going to be using. I want them to be like a pastel and to kind of match as much as I can those color blocks that Brambleberry sent in this collection. They are very unique colors and just looking at my selection I'm like uh, I don't have anything that looks anything like that so they are definitely unique to Brambleberry. There's also Kaylin clay in here, coconut powder, um, coconut milk powder and some Tessa silk so oh and sodium lactate which is going to hopefully help out a lot with trying to release this soap from that mold so let's give this a good mix so this is going to be split up into two different shades of purple into this one I have a brambleberry mica called orchid and into the big one I am going to do an iris purple from nurture and it hopefully creates a very pretty swirl Got my Brambleberry fragrance oil here as well, and I have to say, I'm not a huge berry kind of um, fragrance person, <laughs> and that's because I always find that they either smell too much like medicine, 
or they're just too artificial, but Brambleberry did a really good job at putting together this fragrance, and I'm being honest because it's not overpowering, and it has other notes to it that I really, really like that help mellow it down. So let's start by telling you what those notes are. I have a sweet mix of bergamot, blackberry, raspberry, peony, honeysuckle, and violet leaf. Notes of white woods, golden amber, musk. And it is very, very nice. It is a very complex scent. And it's not just berry, and that's what I like about it. So, mixing in my purples here. See how pretty and pastel that looks. So let's add the iris purple to the big bucket. I'm gonna whiz them up a little bit more add my fragrance and then we're going to start pouring into that heart column mold and see how it goes. So that didn't go terribly wrong. It's a little difficult to unmold, but it did come out very nicely. No accidents happened when pouring everything up. So what I'm doing next is I'm just cutting these and they're about one and a half. They're gonna be very tiny, but they are going to be very, like the perfect guest size soap, I think. And then of course I'm gonna decorate the tops of them and make them look even prettier so loving the swirl loving the scent loving this mold so let me continue to cut these up and then i will get some more soap icing together or just soap batter really and we will make some pretty designs on top of here hopefully i don't ruin it <laughs> never done this before not exactly sure how to go about this I've tried watching so many videos I know it originally was established with like cookies so I've taken a couple different techniques and I'm going to throw it all together and hope that it comes out like it should as well as keeping this in view of the camera so I'm not gonna lie I I did try to practice one a little bit so I have a couple different paint brushes here um, I think you're supposed to keep them wet so they are are wet. I have a paper towel here, I have a towel. Um, I have my soap 
batter it is at like a medium trace with like the tiniest tiniest little hole like a writing tip um, I've seen people do like actual outlining and then I've seen people do um, dots and so maybe I'll just experiment but I have a a what is this called a cookie cutter here in the shape of a heart as well and it's going to be my I don't ruin it there we go and it's going to be my outline so I'm going to start by putting on little dots all around this outline like that and then I'm going to take this wet brush and I'm going to pull it through my soap like this because bigger dots gives you more to work with little dots for little little smears and so just go and do that all around the soap here and in the middle I'm going to decorate with some berries that I made out of the um, color blocks that Brambleberry sent in some mountain pour and then I also have some batter off to the side that is colored green so that I can pipe leaves on and then of course I have those cupcakes as well off to the side. So let's see, hopefully this is one of those things that I get better at the more I do it. Do I want to do this on a daily basis? Probably not, but I thought it would be fun to try and just paint soap on soap, right? I love trying new things. So I also think it'd be really cute if I just left it like that too, right? <laughs> Do one more for you guys. I want to mention that I also left the um, recipe that I used for this soap batter unscented. So there is no scent in it. That way it doesn't do anything funky on me. And I'm finding that the trick to this anyway from what I'm doing anyway I think I know what I'm doing um, is pretty much like squashing it like like squashing it and dragging it down and that's how you get that look so that is that and so I got a couple more of these to finish up and then I'm gonna finish decorating them with the berries and the leaves so I think I got the hang of that I do say so myself. I am pleased with those. And just a tip, if you try this, the fun thing about this is if you mess up, you can just wipe it off. You can start all over again. So I'm going to put one berry, and I'm painting these berries on with the cold process soap that I have left over there. And one berry here. And then I'll do that with all of them. Once my green icing is set up and ready to go, I'll just pipe on two leaves on here. And that is that. And then, of course, we can't forget about the cupcakes I have off to the side. I'm going to do those as well. So to decorate these guys, I have the berries that I also put on the other soap that I'm going to place randomly on here. They're all the different shades. There's three different like pinks and purples in there. So we'll top the purple ones up here. We'll do some of like the blush ones and the amethyst ones. Just pretty color pinks. There's so much pink going on in here. I love it. Oops, I already did that one. Not you. Um, I also have some melt and pour leaves that I'm going to add on to this and some gold bursting beads and blackberry seeds 
all from Brambleberry as well. And we'll make these pretty. Well, we'll just do that again anyway. There you have it. I think they turned out really, really, really cute. They look like little tea cakes and they're matching cupcakes, so it's a perfect way to celebrate Brambleberry's 20th anniversary. I loved actually doing this, this brush embroidery method. I would try it again, so I am open to suggestions if you guys want to see me attempt this method on future soaps. Let me know in the comment section down below any particular colors or shapes or scents that you want to see. I had a lot of fun. I am very pleased with these. These are available in the Etsy shop today, um, as well as a few other soaps. It is a smaller release than what I typically do. That is because there were a few Christmas soaps coming in there and I didn't want the release to be too close to the holidays. So I moved it up a little bit and there is the Gifts of the Magi in there, the White Christmas Snow Globe Soap, the Vanilla Apple Pie, and a few others that I did restocks on or didn't make videos for. So be sure to check out the shop link in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you saw. Any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day, and I will smell you later. 